Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I have another Tacoma mod video for you guys. It's pretty easy and it's pretty simple, but I think it's a really interesting one and it involves the third gen smart key if you have one. I picked up this minimalist key fob by Miso Customs and basically what this mod does is it replaces your factory key fob with this key fob over here. And more specifically, this is actually just a case for the internal electronics. So it is not a complete replacement if you like lost your key fob or something. It just slims down your actual key fob a little bit. And in my opinion, it looks a little bit cooler. So you'll have a different key fob. Now, I think this is a pretty genius mod by Miso Customs because I haven't seen too many other mods that are for your key fob. And if you guys know of Miso Customs already, you'll know that they have a lot of Tacoma specific mods that are really well thought out. I actually have the TRD start stop push button by them that I really like and a lot of people on this channel seem to like so I'm excited to try this key fob out. Like most of my other mods on this channel I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this and a complete install and I'll let you guys know what I think of it at the end. Okay, so here's what the packaging of the Minimalist Key Fob looks like by Miso Customs. I really like it because on the back, it looks like they've utilized all this space to actually put the instructions and all the features of the Minimalist Key Fob rather than having like an instruction card on the inside. And they list everything that's included in this box. So really nice packaging. When we open the box, we get the two key fob pieces, which are made of ABS, and we get a little tin Altoy box that has all the installation pieces we need. Now, I do want to quickly say that I have the black colored key fob, but I know Miso Custom sells lots of other colors, including colors to actually match the exterior color of your Tacoma. So they have colors like Voodoo Blue, Army Green, Cavalry Blue. Oddly enough, I didn't see a Silver Sky metallic colored one. The closest color was probably cement, which is why I got the regular black one. So I don't know if that's just because Silver Sky is probably a less popular color or if it's just because cement was the closest color they could get. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that you can get other colors besides black. All right, so to actually install this, we need the internal electronics of the factory key fob. So to do that, we're going to take out the little manual key or the tailgate key, and we're gonna use this kind of as a flathead to open this up. So I'm gonna just wedge it in and try to pry it apart. And you'll see it kind of just pops open. And now we have access to everything else we'll need. So obviously one of the core components of this is having the PCB itself. So we're gonna take that out of my factory key. And then we're also gonna take out this rubber piece. I'm going off of the Miso Customs box to put this together. I'm gonna first take this black plastic piece and our PCB, and we're gonna fit this round three volt battery to where this little circle molded pieces. Then there's actually two stainless steel inserts that come in the kit. One is a bottle opener and one just looks like a thing for your keychain. I'm gonna use the bottle opener one and I'm just going to line this up. Next, we're gonna take our factory gasket and put it over the PCB. Then the kit comes with these buttons that we're gonna put on the front piece over here. I also wanna mention that Miso Customs also sells different color buttons. So in the end, you'll see that the entire key fob itself is black, but you can actually buy like red or gray colored buttons. I think I'm gonna eventually do that to make it look nicer, but for now the black will do. Then just remember the unlock is gonna go at the bottom and the lock's gonna go at the top and you can't mess this up because these are shaped a specific way and they won't fit in the other way. Next, you're going to snap the two plastic pieces together and I'm actually gonna remove this steel piece while I do that. Now you'll see that the top actually snaps in and these lines should all be flush when it's like snapped together before you screw it in. Once it's all in place, I'm going to put my little bottle opener steel piece back in and then with the provided screws, just screw everything together to hold it in place. And that's it, so pretty simple. So let's test if it works. So I don't know if you could hear that, but you could see the little red LED flash and then the lock. 
which won't lock because I have one of the doors open. And then to save my neighbors, I'm not going to press the panic button. But you get the point and it works. Now here's the two key fobs side by side. Height wise, they're just about the same, but width wise, I think the minimalist key fob wins a little bit. Obviously their designs are different too. I quite like the designs of this Miso Customs one a little bit better than the factory key fob because it's unique looking. Now, one of the big things with the minimalist key fob and obviously why they can get the width a lot smaller is because the minimalist key fob omits this extra manual key. So if you're trying to open the tailgate and you don't have like a pop and lock like I do and you need a manual key to open the tailgate or you just like having a manual key around, you'll have to save this from your factory key and keep it on you. Now on this channel, I've had quite a bit of discussion about this key with some of my subscribers because some people I know that have a third gen got this key in addition to two smart key fobs and some people didn't. This is a manual key that's the exact same as this key. And I just use this to open up the tailgate because it's easier than pulling out this one. So in my case, I'm going to be keeping the minimalist key fob and this factory key. But if your third gen didn't have this extra key, you're gonna have to keep this one. So right before I filmed this video, I actually looked up reviews for this minimalist key fob. And I noticed that a lot of people didn't like the lack of Toyota branding or TRD branding on this key, which obviously Miso Customs can't do because of copyright. So just for fun, really quick on my 3D printer, I printed these little TRD badges, which I intended to put onto the minimalist key fob. I'm not sure how to attach them yet because they're so thin. Now, obviously these don't look perfect because they aren't flush because I have no adhesive on them, but this is just to give you guys an idea and give myself an idea of what a uh, TRD badging would look like on this key fob. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know, maybe I'll switch it up and actually print out like Tacoma or something else instead, but I do need to still figure out how to adhere these letters to the key fob really well and probably print them a little more neatly, but I don't think that's a bad looking key. Before I forget, I know I keep gloating about Miso Customs and I swear I'm not sponsored by them, but their products are just so awesome. They also sell a titanium, I think it's a hexagonal ring. So I might pick up one of those as well, just cause I think they're gonna be a lot stronger than the one I currently have. But yeah, this was my little Miso Customs key fob mod. Pretty simple, but effective. Hey guys, Future Chloe here actually editing the current video that you guys are watching. So a little weird, but anyways, a few days ago when I started editing this video, I realized I actually wanted the red insert buttons like I talked about earlier in this video. So I went to Miso Customs and actually bought them. They were an extra $5 add-on. And shout out to Miso Customs who was cool enough to send me a free air freshener with that. And just in case you guys are interested, I'm going to be swapping this button with the red one. So here is the before. And here is the after, which looks closer to the factory key fob. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mod I did today. And if there's any other Miso custom products or mods you'd like me to test out, leave me a comment below and maybe I'll make a video on it. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you're interested in picking up one of these minimalist key fobs for your Tacoma. I have noticed that new Miso Customs products are actually really popular and they're really high in demand and they go out of stock really quickly. So if you see a product on their website that you like and are on the fence about, I would actually suggest that you buy it because they usually take quite a while to do a restock if they even do a restock. If they're out of stock of a product that you want, I know you can usually find it on a reseller's website. So Tacoma Lifestyle and Running for Tacos also sell Miso Customs products. And there's lots of other websites that do too. Those are just two I thought of off the top of my head, but hopefully this information helps if you're interested. If you want to connect more with me and get live updates on mods I'm doing in my Tacoma, adventures I go on, and even behind the scenes for a lot of these videos, you can check out my Instagram. I am at Chloe Kuo Taco and we can connect there. I also have a discount code for Baja Design. So if you're looking for new fog lights, ditch lights, or light bars, you can use my code Chloe K10 for 10% off any item on their website. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.